with uh, I found another treasure trove. Thankfully, this one is not from well, it, it, a, uh, a nasty one with cat litter in it or anything like that. It's something um, much closer to home. In fact, it's inside my home mm, this year. This shoebox, this champ's shoebox, had a bunch of stuff in it mm -mm. that I had uh, basically forgot about for a long time. So we're going to look through it real quick. We have a scene magazine, of course, not bad. Lots of cool stuff, information in there. That's important, yeah. We have these notebook notes. We have these, uh, yeah, these notes right here. Oh, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Let me get my light together. Okay, we got that for We have these notes, notebook notes and things. We can make some notes with those. Got some other ones that we found on the street. Got some comics right here. Mm, really nice to have. So those are our fun little entertainments there. We have, oh, this this thing here. Oh, heroes and villains by this thing. I haven't read it yet. I gotta start reading, trying to read it. Oh, mom's old hat. Just, uh, one of mom's hats. Found one of mom's old hats. My goodness. I'm over that thing. Uh, there we go. Next is stuff that, you know, we have some printer paper here. Printer paper here, you know, basically. Right, you know, I like, I used to like drawing with it, but you know, we're using it for our printer right now. That printer there. So, yeah. This is going to be interesting. I'll take this and put it over with the other stuff. That'll be nice. You know. Cool, so other stuff we want on here. All this stuff here. You know, that can go there with that other printer paper. It'll do just fine right there. Next is lined paper. Mm -hmm. Lined paper right here. I have some wide ruled lined paper. My goodness, I have a bunch of it. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of this stuff, which is good. I think I'm going to stick to this for my moving characters. They're li it's a little bit bigger. It's a bunch of it. Mm -hmm. Three sheet, three pallets. Three packages of wide ruled paper. Wait. Go. Oh, we have a college ruled one, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. College ruled one is good for, um, I think, it's for writing. Mm -hmm. Better for writing than drawing, though I do have drawn with that. But you know, I think the wide ruled is better. There's more room to work with when you're drawing stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with that. More... Well, another scene magazine. Old one. They have my. Oh, uh, this is my farewell to my last job. I had to fix this. I had to get this fixed and scanned in. So I'm gonna put it over there with the printer paper. Uh -uh. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm cooking my dinner. My late my um dinner. My second course of dinner. Uh -uh. You know, late night before bedrooms before bed snack. Because I basically it's been like two or three hours since I ate. Uh -uh. So yeah, I got this uh silly old fat. Uh, let's see a bit of lighting here. Silly old fat index thing. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, you see the cat creatures. There are the cat creatures out there hanging out. Silly old fat body mass index thing. You know, it's kind of interesting how that goes. You know, sometimes it's uh, okay, but sometimes it's not that okay because it's like, oh, you weigh this much. You know, you should, you're, you're this, this tall and weigh this much. Oh, no, obesity. <laughs> you know, like, no, I'm not obese. I'm just uh, above your expectations. You yeah, have cancer vixen. Cancer Rixen hanging out. Very nice. One of the coolest books ever. He's over there right now. Read that stuff. It's rated R though. Just watch out. But it is a really good book about surviving one of the worst things ever. So yeah. Well, someone's one of the worst things ever. What is this? What? Oh, this is Star vs. the Forces of Evil comic. Shoot, I gotta, I gotta get in here and, and get this all straightened out. I will do that eventually. My brother's snoring on the other side. Let's see. Pretty good sleep. That's good for him. Some magazines. Some more scene magazines. Yeah, these used to be airtight. Each was they broke. So, and some books. We have books in here. And some novels. Some novels. Also oh, manga too. John likes. John likes his manga. My brother, he likes his manga. I kind of like some of his manga too. That's why I discovered Kashi, it's Silver Kashimashi, which was my least favorite. Mm, yep. That's not actually watching. Mm. Yeah, those look like it though. Mm, you know, two girls, you know, trying to get at this one dude or girl in this case. Yeah, including that. <laughs> it was a dude. You know, it, 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 it. My, my mom said like, so have me read. Check out some of the books she's reading. Love inspired type books, Christian romances and stuff. Mm. I read some of those, and uh, yeah, some of those I'll be like, oh yeah, this is this is great. The other ones are like, eh, it's all right. My father's world. This one, my father's world. This one was good. I think. Oh yes, this was the. Um, they were basically uh, pioneer days, cowboy stuff, um, 
No, I think man, I had a bad guy be played by Buford Tannen from you know thinking. I imagine the bad guy looks like Buford Tannen from uh, Back to the Future Three. <laughs> you know, you know, and basically, uh, my father, the, the girl who's the girl who's the main character in this thing's father is a human version of a of uh, the genie, <laughs> a grumpier human version of the genie from <laughs> from Aladdin. <laughs> you know, basically, you know, and also and and his love interest girl lady, the love interest lady is uh, looks like Miss Keen <laughs> from Powerful Girls. <laughs> Just, it was just so cool. It was just so cool, you know. Just, just, just trying to think all these things together. It was, it was awesome to think about that, you know. That's how that's how I see it. You know, everybody will sees it differently. It sees things differently, but it was really cool though. It was a nice. That was a nice book. I like that one. Let's see here. Well, that's that one. Yeah, yeah, don't need that. Oh, yeah. These books here are still in the package. Redeeming singleness, huh? Yeah. That one. This one's basically. I like books about basically finding good stuff. Where you are sometimes not saying where you are is the best ever but i like saying books where it's like hey you know what can you do right now <clears throat> you know where you are to to make things better for you you know and that's what this book is about i think you know redeeming singleness is basically like okay you know you're not together you don't got you know you're not with anyone yet but you know, still work on your own stuff <clears throat> you know and maybe someday uh you know, God, you know, this one is a Christian book, so it's like they, someday God will bring that someone for you. Boy, oh boy, I'm cooking that stuff real good. Boy, 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 boy. Beyond Tuesday morning. This one was about 9-11. Gotta get more, more light in here. This one was about 9-11, basically. Uh, a girl... So a woman, the wife of a firefighter who died in this, and it was this is like the second book. There was the first one. She, the the guy died in the fall. You know, it was like basically it's like you have a uh, the firefighter was in the building. The nine eleven, the twin towers when they fell, or yeah, anyway, and basically then they thought they rescued him alive. You know, I guess his face was all hurt, so they couldn't really tell who he was. You know, they thought it was him. But she thought it was him, and basically hung out with him, I guess. Nurse helped nurse him back to health, and to find out it was not him, <laughs> you know, that he really did die. And it's like, oh, crap, you know, you know. And so it was just, like, crazy feelings. And this is the second one where uh, she might eventually actually get, with, you know, end up with him or something. I don't know exactly. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I read it. But it was actually an okay book. I'll talk about dealing with that stuff. Oh, what's this one? Oh, Linda, good night. The Christmas Family. Hmm. I don't know if I actually read this one. Huh. Christmas Family. Contractor Bradley Buchanan can't wait to surprise single mom Abby Wager with a company Christmas home makeover prize. So that's struggling. Oh my goodness. Bradley Brent Buchanan. Oh, I have read this one. Oh my goodness. No, no. Bradley Buchanan. In my the way I see him, he's um. Uh, played, but he's basically he's uh, uh, bones from the new Star Trek movie. <laughs> yeah. He looks like bones from the new Star Trek movie. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. So she won't accept charity yet when her adopted portion almost injures her daughter, who was has special needs. <laughs> Abby finally agrees to Bradley's offer. Brad Brady's offer after hardworking to the bachelor pushes to finish the house and have Christmas. He starts falling for Abby and her little girl. The holidays decide Brad Brandy wonders Brady wonders if Abby will only accept her beautiful new home, but also his wish to make her his wife. My goodness, yeah, that one was really pretty good. There was like a, a thing went on where there was like. Oh, sorry. The arts. There was like there was something stuff going on where there was basically the um stuff was going down. Like they had this company, the Buchanan's family has like some enemies or something, and basically there were some people. The stuff was starting to go wrong. They also they have like a uh, contract. What they have is they have contracts. Uh, they do contracting for for work for um, houses and stuff. They also I think you know, contracting for houses and stuff. And I think there was like some sort of weird stuff that things that went down. And basically, stuff started going wrong. Some, there was like arson and all kinds of other things happening. Oh, what the heck is this? My daily bread. Our daily bread. Hanging out. Yeah. Very nice one. And it was like, oh, shoot, you know, what are you going to do about this thing, you know? And so they're having issues. I think it culminated in all that. Oh, there was like a, a an arson and all kinds of things. And I'm like, yeah, scene magazine. I'm feeling for stuff right now. My cat creature is, you know, getting all excited over some stuff. Another cat creature. I mean, it was a cycle, huh? Interesting. Yeah, have fun there. Oh, oh, oh. And then I gotta go and check, make sure my stuff isn't burning. Oh. So yeah, scene magazines. Yeah, I gotta you know get fix all this up because um, there's cool stuff in here I want to check out. There's other stuff I might need to uh, you know put somewhere else, you can throw away or whatever. 
whatever the case is, I gotta get going. So I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and you are.